How's it going everyone, Vertic Designs here and for today's video I want to show you all how to create the lava text effect using Adobe Firefly. Now the first thing you need to do is go ahead and get yourself access if you don't already have access to Firefly. You just need to click on join beta and be patient with it. They will eventually get to you and give you access to Firefly. Once you do have access all you need to do is go ahead and click on generate text on the text effect and this will bring us to the gallery. If you wanted a specific one that you see on the gallery, you can just copy that specific prompt by clicking try prompt. However, if you want to be very specific with this, you want to type in your text. So let's say lava. And then from here, we're going to type in lava. We are also going to type in magma. And then hot at the end as well. Go ahead and click on generate. And as you can see straight away from the first attempt, that actually looks really cool. I'm really happy with that. We also have a nice variation between these other ones. So if you wanted, let's say the fourth one, this one's like very dramatic looking. Ooh, that one, that, that one actually is quite good. I quite like that. That looks really cool. I'm actually struggling now to think between the first and fourth. We've also got ourselves the third one, which this one doesn't look too bad. It definitely looks cool. I will give it that. So let's say that you wanted to stick with number four. You can also have yourself some sample effects. These are the generic presets that have already been created. However, if you wanted to change the settings, you also have the text fit. So for example, if you wanted it to be a tight fit, this will make it specifically on the actual text itself and won't go outside of the lines. So this is very static looking. And if you wanted one that's loose, this will make it go outside of the text, which means it will just let it loose. And if you want it to go outside of the text, that's completely fine. You can see we've now got some cool looking splashes coming off of the text as well. You can also change the font if you wanted to just by going into the font and you can browse through all the different ones. So let's say that you wanted to change it to one of these other ones. You can just change it in here and we can try, let's say maybe the second one, which is a little bit more close together and see what this looks like. So that's not too bad. That still looks really cool. I'm personally going to go back onto the font and then change it to medium. I prefer that one compared to the loose. And that's not too bad. I definitely would say the first font looks better compared to this other one. Another thing that you can change as well is you can change the color right here. You can change the text color or the background color. So you can either have it transparent or you can set it to a white color or any other color that you want just by changing in here. And then once you're happy with the results and you want to save this, you just want to click on the save button or the download button at the top. And then go ahead and accept this, click on continue. And there you have it. There is the text that has just been generated.